If there's one negative thing that I have to say about Ubuntu, it's that it uses snaps. Now, over the course of the last couple years, I've become more ambivalent towards snaps simply because it's one of those cases of if you don't like it, don't use it. So I don't use them like unless I absolutely have to. I never touch snaps, but a lot of people are very against the use of snaps and but they want to use Ubuntu. So when Ubuntu or Canonical announced this past couple months or I guess I guess it was about a month ago or so they announced that they were going to basically force or although they cloaked it as everyone agreed all the flavors to not use flat packs and instead use snaps so across the Ubuntu lineup out of the box snaps would be the main thing to use and it's not that big of a deal because it's not as if you can't go and install flat packs you know on your own if you want to it just rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. So, of course, someone out there decided that they wanted to make an Ubuntu, but with flat packs. So today, we're going to be taking a very quick look at a distribution called Flatpak Remix. Now, basically, as far as I can tell, this is just Ubuntu. There's nothing much different about it. I'm going to show you a little bit of the installation here right now. It is the Ubuntu installer. There's nothing different about it. The version that they offer right now is based on Ubuntu 22.04, which is the last LTS. And if you were to just download this ISO, but now look at the, the file name and you just saw the installer, you'd think you were just installing Ubuntu. And once you got it installed, which I have it installed right here, as you can see, it just looks like Ubuntu. They didn't even change the wallpaper. Uh, the only thing that is different is that there's actually nothing different, actually. I, well... There is something different. If you if you notice, there's not a Firefox logo there, which is really interesting because I think Firefox is actually installed. So Firefox is usually up there by default, but it wasn't. So that seems to be the only change that I can see. And of course, you'd then be wondering what is actually different here. Well, the clue is in the name. This is Ubuntu, but without snaps, but with Flatpak. So if we were to open up a terminal here and run Flatpak list, you'd see that there are actually flat packs installed. So LibreOffice is installed as a flat pack, Thunderbird is installed as a flat pack, Firefox is installed as a flat pack. This is very different, of course, than traditional Ubuntu, which installs all of these things out of the box as snaps. Well, I'm not sure about Thunderbird and LibreOffice, but for sure Firefox is installed as a snap. On Flatpak Remix, it's installed as a flat pack. So that's the difference. There's literally nothing else here. So the question I have to ask, and obviously I need to do something in order to make this video longer than four minutes long, does, is this something that we really need, of course, because if you want to have flat packs on regular vanilla Ubuntu, all you'd have to do is sudo, well, I mean, obviously you'd have to spell things right, apt install flat pack. Uh, you'd run that and then you'd have to install the FlatHub repository. And other than that, you'd be ready and raring to go. Now, the primary advantage that I can see over all of this by having Flatpak and FlatHub enabled out of the box and having Firefox installed as a Flatpak out of the box, you're avoiding snaps. That's the primary advantage here. Isn't that it isn't that Flatpak is installed, it's that snap isn't installed. So if you were to do, do snap list, snap is actually not installed at all. And that is the biggest departure here from traditional Ubuntu. Other than that, everything else is exactly the same. It's just Ubuntu 22.04 with all of the things that that means. You know, it has the traditional GNOME desktop. You can do all the things you would do in Ubuntu. The only difference is, of course, is that you'd be using Flatpak instead of Snap. Now, if you were to go into the software center, this is where you'd see another difference, I suppose, in that the if you weren't were to go to one of the applications, you'd see that by default, the source is Flatpak, or in this case, FlatHub. And that's the case for all of the applications that are offered here. So you won't see any, as far as I'm aware, offering of things from the Ubuntu repository. So there's no devs here at all, as far as I can tell. Everything is from FlatHub. So this is basically the FlatHub store. Instead of the Snap Store, this is the FlatHub Store. And obviously, you can still install things from the Ubuntu repository. You just have to either enable that repository so that GNOME software can see it, 
or you can install it through apt in the terminal, whatever you wanted to do. But everything here by default comes from FlatHub. So that's the other difference. There's no offering of snaps. And by default, the Ubuntu repositories don't really show up in the GNOME Software Center. So I think that this is a very interesting project, but also one that I think probably will get abandoned at some point, simply because the changes there aren't so vast and interesting to keep anybody's interest, right? And I think that eventually people will just kind of realize that the changes that Flatpak Remix offers is something that you can just do with vanilla Ubuntu. It doesn't really necessitate its own distribution. I think that this was done for... I'm not going to say it was done for attention, but it was just done to show that it was possible, right? And for, you know, for that, it's okay, right? It's, there's nothing wrong with doing this. It's just that I don't foresee this project doing something that is constantly updated in the future. Maybe I'll be wrong, but it, this, ha this has all the hallmark qualities of a distribution that is created once and then never updated again. We'll see if that, you know, actually changes. But the idea here, again, isn't really that you need a distribution to do this. It's that you can just do this with regular Ubuntu if you want to. The whole idea of them dictating snaps to everybody is all fine and dandy, but it is so easy if you want to, to just pull snaps right out of Ubuntu and put Flatpak in its place if that's what you want to do. It's a couple lines of code in the terminal and you're ready to go. Now, obviously, it does require some familiarity with the terminal, but there are instructions on many different websites on how to do it. There are tools like Unsnap, I think, is one that I actually covered in a video not so long ago that you can actually just run and it will do it for you. It will be completely automated. So the idea that you can just do this with regular Ubuntu is something that I think that is, I think that that's more the idea behind Flatpak Remix is that you can do this if you wanted to do it. Don't worry that Flatpak is being pulled out of Ubuntu because it wasn't ever actually there on most flavors. There were some flavors that offered FlatHub and Flatpak. Most of them just stuck with Snap. And you always had to go through and install it yourself. So a distribution that is basically Ubuntu but with FlatHub and Flatpak installed by default. Interesting, but not particularly useful because you could do this with regular Ubuntu. But for me personally, if I were to use Ubuntu, this might be the one that I would choose simply because I do prefer Flatpak instead of Snaps. And obviously, I'm, as a lazy person, I would prefer having all of the Flatpak and FlatHub stuff done for me. And I then don't have to go pull Snaps out. So maybe this would be the one that I would use. I don't know. So that's it for this video. If you have thoughts on Flatpak Remix or anything to do with Ubuntu and their whole anti flat pack campaign you can leave those in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you you can follow me on mastodon or odyssey those links will be in the video description you can support me on patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast links for libera pay and youtube will be in the video description as well thanks to everybody who does support me on patreon and youtube you guys are all absolutely amazing without you the channel does not be anywhere near where it is right now so thank you so very very much for your support i truly do appreciate it you guys are all awesome thanks everybody for watching i'll see you next